Our top story on dispatch is from the United Kingdom in a major boost to the India-UK security partnership. London is set to deploy its most advanced naval fleet in the Indian Ocean region. The step includes the deployment of UK's High Readiness Littoral Response Group in 2024 and the Carrier Strike Group in 2025 for joint training. Both would operate with the Indian forces. This comes at a time when the Indian Defence Minister is on a two-day visit to UK that marks the first visit by the Indian Defence Minister after over two decades. In addition to this, several other joint initiatives have also been announced, including the launch of a defense partnership commitment to increase exchanges between cadet organization and training officers and agreement on logistics exchange between the armed forces of the two countries. Further, a letter of agreement has also been signed for collaboration on research and de development focusing on next generation capabilities. These steps are a part of the comprehensive strategic partnership envisaged in the 2030 UK-India roadmap. These agreements were signed after bilateral, by the bilateral talks held between the Indian Defence Minister and his British counterpart. The UK Defence Secretary says the countries share the same security challenges and remain uh, committed to maintaining a free and prosperous Indo-Pacific. He further added that this relationship is going from strength to strength. London says UK and India will also conduct more complex joint military exercises in the coming years. And on the last day of his UK visit, the Indian Minister Rajnath Singh is set to meet Prime Minister Rishi Sunak and the UK Secretary of State for Foreign, Commonwealth and Development uh, Affairs, David Cameron. The Minister will also participate in the community reception in UK. And for the very latest on this, we're now being joined by our principal diplomatic correspondent, Siddhan Sibbal from New Delhi. And Siddhan, uh, tell us the importance of this new partnership announcement made by the UK for the Indian Ocean. Well, this is UK's pivot to the Indo-Pacific and there has been increased engagement. We have seen uh, UK warships in uh, the Indian Ocean engaging with the Indian Navy. And this announcement basically means that there will be a group, uh, uh, the warships group, which will be traveling to the Indian Ocean in 2024. And then again in 2025, uh, will be doing joint um, exercises with the Indian side. Now, essentially, the announcement comes at a time when the Indian Defense Minister is is in Britain. He, of course, uh, has met with his uh, British counterpart and he will be uh, shortly meeting other British Prime Minister as well. And this is part of increased momentum in the India-UK relationship. We saw in the month of November, uh, the Indian External Affairs Minister around Diwali time uh, visiting uh, you can uh, meeting with uh, the UK Prime Minister and also uh, uh, taking part in Diwali celebrations. But this momentum comes at a time when both sides are also negotiating the FTA talks, uh, the free trade agreement talks. Uh, this could pave way for uh, a higher level engagement, a visit by the British Prime Minister or a visit by the Indian Prime Minister to UK. Right, Sidhan, thanks very much indeed for joining us for the very latest on the significance of this latest announcement by the UK and, of course, in the lead-up to a potential visit by the Prime Minister Rishi Sunak himself.